Happy Epiphany Day, everyone. Today is January 6th, and um, as I had said before, that on January 6th, many uh, Latin countries celebrate um, the Day of the Three Kings or the Day of Epiphany uh, because the Three Kings, you know, found the star, followed it, and found, you know, Jesus. Um, controversy as to whether they found him in the stable or found him later on. Um, because Herod had told them to kill every child to and under because he didn't want to be usurped as king um, so or overthrown by anyone else um, so in his craziness he killed every child every boy two years and under so he found out about the boy through the Magi so people aren't sure whether it was the same day he was born or within two years um, so, the Day of Epiphany, or El Dia de los Tres Reyes, uh, is when the children in Latin American countries put the presents uh, in hay, box of hay, put it under the bed, and in the morning, they get their presents. From January 26th to January 6th is 12 days, and that's where the 12 days of Christmas song had come about. Um, again, I said before, I don't, we don't really know when Jesus was born. Um, all we know is that he was born in, in Bethlehem, Jerusalem, the Middle East. Um, it could be, could have been any day of the year, but it became an official holiday. Um, don't remember when, but it did become an official a day, the 25th, that that would be the day that everyone would celebrate Christmas. But during, um, 18th century in England, um, the Christians were being persecuted uh, for their beliefs and the the way that they thought up doing their celebration without getting caught was making up the song the 12 days of Christmas um, and as you know it's on you know on the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me uh, true love meaning Jesus what Jesus gave to them um, and so from the 26th to January 6th is 12 days and the, the first day talks about the partridge in a pear tree and the partridge is a, a, um, a small bird but it will kill to defend its young and so what that remind what that signified was Jesus and the pear tree signified um, the cross that Jesus was crucified on. So, uh, that was the partridge. On the second day, uh, they sing about turtle doves. And um, turtle doves were given as offerings by the Jewish families. Um, and so, it reminded them, the turtle dove reminded them that Mary and Joseph had um, given an offering for Jesus, as was customary in those days, as a sacrifice. That was what was required by law to give a sacrifice. So they gave two turtle doves for Jesus. Then you have your French hens. In 16th century England, um, the uh, French hen was very, very valuable. And um, because it was valuable, it reminded them of the gift that the three kings gave, which was gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That's what that the three French hens signified, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And then on the fourth day, you had the calling birds. The four calling birds were Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the gospel writers. So um, they, they wrote the New Testament, they wrote the life of Jesus, and so the four calling birds reminded them of that. Then the fifth day is the five golden rings. Um, and the five golden rings, what that signified was Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Um, those were the five books of the pe Pentateuch. Pentateuch, uh, the beginning of the Bible. The sixth day of Christmas was the Sixth Gisalane. 
and the eggs um, signified um, signifies life in many many cultures and so the six geese laying um, reminded them of the six days of creation see eggs means life creation means life seventh day was the seven swans of swimming and that signified the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit the swans would turn from these ugly ducklings into this beautiful graceful bird and so when a person first becomes a Christian the Holy Spirit helps them to mature with the with the seven gifts And then on the eighth day was the eight maids milking, which represented the Beatitudes. Jesus gave a sermon on, on the mount. Um, so it was, um, it signified the eight teachings of the Beatitudes that he taught that day. Uh, just as a milk nurtures a baby, those eight teachings were supposed to help the Christian to grow or the believer to grow. Ninth day is the nine ladies dancing. Um, so that reminded them of the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit, uh, which is different from the seven gifts. The nine fruits of the Spirit, um, which help, um, you know, love, joy, peace, and so on and so forth. So that's what the nine ladies dancing reminded them of. Tenth day was the ten lords a leaping. Lords back then were men of authority, and um, so the ten lords a leaping uh, reminded them of the ten commandments. And on the eleventh day, it was the eleven pipers piping, and that represented the eleven apostles. Um, it didn't include Judas because Judas had betrayed Jesus and then later hung himself. So it reminded them of the 11 apostles who, just like a piper, you know how the piper, he toots his little horn and all the kids come following him. Well, the 11 uh, apostles went out and preached the gospel so, so mankind would follow Jesus. Finally, the 12th day of Christmas was 12 drummers drumming, and the 12 drummers drumming reminded them of the Apostles' Creed, which were 12 vital beliefs um, that stated, um, you know, what they believed in. So, just a little information on what the song really meant. They can worship God without getting, or worship Jesus by singing this song, celebrating Jesus without getting caught because no one knew what the code meant except another Christian. So that is where the song originated, the 12 days of Christmas, and the 12 days of Christmas were from Christmas, day after Christmas, to the day of Epiphany. You know me, I just like to share what I learned. So have a happy uh, Epiphany Day for those of you who celebrate it. Bye.